in concert. We're just out here today to tell you about the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. For God so loved the world, you want to turn for that life and turn God. God. Okay, so, so if I have an old lady across the street, so you might have everlasting life. Not by, not by doing that. that. You're not doing anything. But the, what, you do, out, what you do, what you do, doesn't save you. Little track. God saves you. Not God. by works of righteousness. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you do works of righteousness, if some people take them, some people don't. You, you couldn't do enough. There's a loving God. You couldn't do a enough to overcome your sin. A loving God that gives you a choice. Because it doesn't weigh you. See, I'm trying to confuse right there. I'd rather do it my way and seek death. The wages of sin is death, right? Present tense. Right. Spiritually. You're spiritually dead. Right. 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 But the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life right now. Not life, but you can have eternal life right now through Jesus Christ being born again right now. And since it's for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourself, walking in the lady across the street, for it's a gift of God. Not of works, helping the old lady across the street, helping the school bus, lest any man should boast. See, you're not going to, because, because if you could obtain your righteousness by doing good works, Jesus Christ hey, died in vain. God says that's like you your choice. Said, but let me tell that's you, my friend, it is appointed unto man once to die. Well, say, hey, without me, I'm not. Once you have your will, stand before God. Right, that's different. If you're so, different, doing they something to please God versus saying, oh God, now I earn my way to heaven by doing this. If you do that, that's boasting yourself. Isn't that wrong? 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 Isn't that he knows in your heart you. where your heart is. What has he ever right. done if you have godly sorrow, it leadeth unto repentance that needed not to be repented of. Or if you have a sorrow of this world, what they call jailhouse conversion, you know, where you go into the, the big house and you get religious and you get right. But when you come out, you find out that you're nothing but a fake and a fraud and a phony and you only got religious because you got caught. Yeah, because yeah, you know, it's going to come out. Right. God's going to bring out Jesus. Right. Jesus, you got to get you got yeah. Jesus going to show you that you were fake and a phony anyway, because right. he going to put them obstacles in your way. Right, and that's why you have to be born again. You have to be spiritually born again. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Something's going to happen on the inside again. There's going to be a circumcision of the heart, a spiritual circumcision of the heart. That's going to happen, and you're not going to want to sin. You're not going to want to do those things. There's going to be a war, a war in between you. And if there's no war, if there's no fight, it's not good because there's probably no life. There's probably no spiritual life because you just you had a mental uh, mental dissension to where you you thought you got the guilty thing, but you weren't really born again. Okay, y'all want to Guess what right. going to do? All right, you God's have a good night. give you eternal life. And when you die and stand before him, he's going to say, thank you for believing in my son. And I'm going to go ahead and enter you into glory and eternal life. It's a choice, my friend. It's a choice to take something here about the love of God. Or it's a choice just to walk away, get drunk tonight, and maybe die tonight. It doesn't matter. It's a choice. God Almighty said, I'm not going to force you into heaven. You don't want to believe in God? Hey, go ahead and die in your sins. But God Almighty said he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's why we're out here. God doesn't want you to go there, but God's going to let you choose your way. He's not going to force you. He's not going to grab you.